Hello everyone, a couple weeks ago we got uh, Paris Olympic Games 2024. During these games uh, I saw a nice image of Eiffel Tower with Olympic rings. In one of my videos I showed how to make Eiffel Tower from paper tubes and they have a Revit model of this tower. So now I will show how to create Olympic rings and in the next video I will show how to put these Olympic rings on my Eiffel Tower Revit model. So for creation of these Olympic rings I will need 3D modeling application. In this video I will show how to use free software from Microsoft. It's called 3D Builder and you can find it in your Windows. If it's not in your Windows, you should look in Microsoft App Store. You can download it for free. Click Start and type 3D Builder. And open the application. It should look like this one. I will click New Scene and I will create new scene for my model. To begin creation process I will use insert and I click add. And now I would like to add image. I would like to load an image of Olympic rings. So now I need to find nice image for this project. Let's go back to internet browser. In search bar let's type Olympic rings. Here you can see a lot of uh, nice looking Olympic rings. Color version is not working very nice with this application so I recommend black and white version and here we have Wikipedia page and we can click on this image. It will guide us to Wikipedia page and we can save image as um, and also we can copy image link. We can try both ways to insert this image in 3D modeling application. Let's try copying link. Let's go back to 3D modeling application and let's click load image. In load image you will find what this application supports BMP, PNG, EOTPG, TGA image formats and image which I copied uh, is in um, SVG format. I cannot search this file directly so I will need to download PNG file or SVG and convert it into PNG. So let's go back to internet browser. I can click right mouse button and click save image as, go to pictures and here you can see in this case this image will be saved as PNG file format. It's okay, let's rename it. Olympic rings and black white version. Image file is saved. Let's go back to 3D modeling application. In 3D modeling application, let's click load image. Let's navigate to pictures and select Olympic rings black and white. And automatically program will suggest you some options how to extract 3D model. In my case, I will use inverse. And here you can see I can change smoothness. I can change level. Let's use the highest level. Maybe not. Let's try in the middle. Another option what I can choose is hey map. So it looks like this one. Edges looks like this one. And the stamp. So for our project we'll use contour option. Okay and I can click off uh, texture version. So I can get only the, the rings. So the round part looks not very nice. I think better image re resolution can improve this one. Um, but let's stay with this option. And let's click import image. Let's click image and in here I will I would like to change the height of the 3D model. Okay and for this part I will select scale. I will unlock the scale option and will use this part and change a little bit scale part. Okay now for this 3D model I would like to paint 
the model to Olympic colors. I will use simplified paint version. Let's navigate to search results and let's select black colors. So the black will be this one. The blue color this one. The red color here. Yellow here. And the green one goes here. So that's all. Model is created. Now we need to save it. To save a model, you can directly click save or you can click save as. You can save the model in FreeMF, STL, OBJ, PLY, GLB or GLTF file formats. In our case, STL format will work nicely because we will use additional tool to modify the rings and prepare them for a Revit application. If you want to print them, FreeMF is, I think, the best version. So we can save in a couple of file formats. Let's use FreeMF, STL version, continue, OBJ version, and let's create all versions. PLY. Okay, some information can be lost. Okay. GLTF. GLB. To see the results, we can jump in our pictures folder and here you can see all the file formats and also we can sort them by size. And from here you can see OBJ is the largest one, STL is second place and FreeMF in the third place and so on. So all the file formats. If I want to check the file. I can open it with 3D Viewer, also free Microsoft application. And in this application, you can see how the model looks in, in this version. PLY looks not so nice. GLTF is similar to GLB. Next step in modeling process will be Autodesk format. So it's an alternative for SketchUp and we will use this application to adapt STL file for the Revit. We can use web version. It is free and I can click accept. OK. And I click menu, click import locally, go to the picture area. And from here I can select STL version. So here you can see my model. STL is not bringing textures, so my model is without textures. I will select the model and I will explode it. Now the model is one piece. I need to convert mesh to objects and now I have separate objects. Next part is to add materials. So I click add material. Select material by color. and click OK. Click on material and use tab. And paint selected parts. OK, blue color, new material.
you need to click a couple of times tab and till the object selects only needed parts now you see parts are highlighted and I can click and it creates the color yellow And the last one green. Okay, okay. Of course, Olympic Rings has special RGB codes so on but in our case let's use basic bright colors and let's name it version 2408 okay now 3d model is modified and prepared for the Revit application let's click export or you can click save sketch save sketch as export locally so you can also select obj stl sat file format png axm so it's format base file format and if i click save as it will save in format file format and i can activate the history so i can go back and um, see all the actions what i did during modeling process okay so i click ok after download you should go to your download folder and look for axm file format format model let's cut it out from here and let's place it to our picture folder or specifically dedicated folder for Olympic rings so we can create new folder And now from here you can see our format file is quite large because we converted each element to separate object format increased file size. Next step is to create Revit family. Let's open Revit 2025. In the Revit application use families and click new. In English or other language family template folder let's locate generic model. So here we have several options simple generic model, wall based, two level based, row based, pattern based, line based, floor based, face based, ceiling based and adaptive. If we want to place it on the tower maybe face based would be a nice option but in our case let's try just metric generic model let's select reference level and let's go maybe to the front view and in the front view we can click insert click import CAD let's navigate to Olympic rings in file type select format file in here let's use center to center and click open
So from here you can see our model is placed in the center of our 3D model. I can click on system colors and here you can see the model and let's save it and let's use the same naming instead of typing name from scratch I just copy it from format file and save it so that's all our 3D model is prepared and we can insert it to our Eiffel Tower. So follow my YouTube channel, subscribe, like, comment and wait for the next video in which I will show how to place it on the Eiffel Tower. Thank you for your attention and till next time. Bye.